Hey there, YouTube, it's Justin the Junkie. How the fuck are you guys doing today? This ain't for no fuck, nigga. You a real nigga, then fuck with me. This one for the hood, nigga. Hips of bitches that shop at Linux. Dark skin, light skin, Asian. Uh, today is, this video is going to be about fixing the turdling uh, once and for all. Uh, we found some things out. I'll explain it to you at the end of the video, but uh, I had to call Jim in and we had the scanner. Uh, we had to scan this bastard uh, with the Cat Factory scan tool, so uh, hopefully the pictures, you know, show up of me shooting the camera screen and all that stuff. If not, I'll figure out, but I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video today. Uh, all that type of shit. We're going to be, you know, getting our, well... Jim's going to get his hands dirty. I'm going to get mine dirty, too. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Also, we got to, uh, I had to change the fan clutch hub. Uh, I have a Kaiser fan clutch on this thing, and it was wore out, and that was part of the problem. So uh, we got all that shit fucking, you know, working on this garbage. So hope you guys enjoy. We're over here with Jim, the super mechanic. That's what you are, Jim. People have dubbed you. There is people that want to meet you, Jim. Uh, Jim brought the CAT scan tool today, so we're going to be playing with that. This is like some Keith New Level Auto type shit right here, Jim. All right, Jim, what are we doing? This screen right here is for warranty purposes only. For warranty purposes only, okay. This is for dealership. But this will actually record the information and you send it to CAT. All right, so it is a C15 truck 2WS. Oh, look at that. Yeah, Jim, you know exactly what the hell you're doing here. I was trying to see what file I had put in this. I can't remember. Okay. This is a 550. You got a 1850. 1850 torque. torque. All right. Now, you, you can put files in it from this computer, correct? Yes. Override switch. This does not have. And Jim, this thing tells you everything, don't it? Now, is this like the CAT official? Yes, this is the official. The official. E CAT ET program. CAT ET program. Electronic transmission. Well, I'm not seeing what I was looking for. What are you looking for? These are the numbers where you really fuck shit up right here. That's where you fuck shit up? Yeah. <laughs> we don't, what is that? Fuel settings. Oh, okay, that's, uh, yeah, we don't want to fuck with that. <laughs> this thing's already fucking got enough issues. We don't want to blow with that. Now, will this do a uh, diagnostic for us? Coolant temperature diagnostic required. Intake manifold temperature diagnostic required. Okay, so let's see what the problem is. Coolant temperature voltage high, fuel temperature voltage high. Oh, this isn't good at all. Something is shorted. And I would say that them three all share a common wire because they're all temperature related. Okay. Then how do we find mm -hmm. where it's shorted? No log event codes. Nobody's burnt your truck up lately. What's that mean? Got it overheated? Oh. oh, voltage. Okay. Voltage. Something is short in the harness. Oh. So this is, it might be all just down to a wire, mm. is what you're saying. Okay, does it have, does this but, give us a schematic? Nope. Oh, fuck. Jim, no schematic on this motherfucker? Mm -hmm. You're telling me this thing costs $9,000, no goddamn schematic. Thank you, Caterpillar. It works. I heard it. Yeah. I heard it quick. I heard it quick, but... You know, we got no... We got no air. Clicked off. It's trying to drag right there now. You know, 
Alright. How do you do that? Just hit enter? Yeah, hold on here. I get it. I just hit a double click and hit yes. Okay. Yeah, so you get working. All right. The circuit itself is working, but your hand is looking down. Okay. It's pretty you want. All right. See how it's pulled back toward the pulley right now? Yeah. Yeah, they moved out. Yeah, I see. Uh, I had to go pick up a new fan hub. Uh, what this is, this is like a Borg Warner or like a Kaiser uh, type fan hub. So I had to go get a new one because this one is, the bearings are fucked up. So let's go ahead and uh, get this apart. It has these uh, six Allen in it uh, down here in the middle. So we'll just fucking buzz these fucking things off. Fucking A. You know, fucking all this shit, and I'm kind of... Uh, Jim ran back to the shop that he works at to try to find a 70-pin ECU because uh, the ECU is fucked on the Sterling, so that's why the shit's all fucked up. So then all you got to do is, yep, that bearing's good. You put this plastic uh, piece back in there. Uh, let's line this up just so we can get these bolts started. Uh, they come with the blue Loctite already on them. It's easier uh, to get them started. Oh, fuck. You know, what a day. What a a day. I got a bunch of shit to fix and I'd like to get this ECU problem fixed so uh, we don't have the fan locked on all the time and it burn up another fucking $600 fan fan clutch. I mean these fan clutches was 518 bucks uh, you know today so plus whatever Jim's gonna charge me for if he can find the ECM that's gonna be the uh, that's gonna be the fun part. Now you can get uh, kits to rebuild these, but uh, you know it's easier just to get a fucking brand new one here. Also, tech tip. If you uh, don't want to fuck your sockets up using an impact on it, uh, put an impact extension on it, just a short one, and then uh, run your... You can, uh, you know, not fuck your... Extension or your fucking socket up there. It's a little tech tip for you. That's all it is. That's all there is to it to change in a fan hub. Uh, so we got that done. Now what we got to do is go muscle this piece of shit back in the fucking truck. This is where the fan hub goes and I got to get it, you know, uh, fuck, like strung down in there. It's kind of a pain in the ass, especially by yourself. But, we'll see what we can do here. There we go. Now we can put this in. Alright, let me get another bolt here. I'm praying that Jim has another... 70 pin ECU over there like really praying 
So what we gotta do is just You don't want to get this too snug because uh, we got to get this belt. Now we're cooking. We can get this belt on. So it's a V belt there. And then what you do is you use your impact to pull this up. Put the bottom ones in last. Okay. Now what we gotta do is come. So now what we gotta do is thread the the belts back on there. We'll tension these belts last. Because get the bottom bolts in, and it's easier to do that uh, from the other side than I'll come over and do. I will come over and do this one over here. Ugh. Got it. You know. Oh. Come in here. Come on. If you guys want to be diesel techs out there, I think it helps if you're above six foot. Because uh, I am too short. You know, I got that short round disease, if you get what I'm saying. Uh, doesn't work out too well for me, but I mean, it works out, but you know, it's not all that, it's not all that exciting because working on this thing, I'm too fucking short to get all in the motherfucker, you know? Now the torque spec on this is right before the bolt shears and we're there. Okay, so we got that. All right, now the next thing to do is put the fan on. Uh, I'll get you guys moved around and get you in a different spot. We'll get the fan on. We'll adjust the belts. This will be done. I can't start the truck because the ECU is still unplugged, but we're going to have to, uh, you know, figure it out. Hopefully Jim comes back with an ECM in the factory scan tool, and uh, we'll reprogram this motherfucker and all that shit. Uh, if he's got the right ECM, but who who knows about that? Repeat steps that we've seen a million times. It seems like I'm always working on this fucking thing. All right, we got that running there. Set that right there. All righty, uh, that's new fan clutch installed. Uh, looking good. Uh, luckily, Jim had an ECM. Uh, we found an ECM today. Uh, but the problem was, is once we got this off, um, you can see that it has a broken pin right there. Okay, and now that this pin is broken, this is the common between those three fuel sending units uh, what was it? Air temperature, fuel temperature, and uh, coolant temperature. Okay, we can see here there's also a couple other pins that are kind of bent right there. So 
this is a 70 pin ECM cat. They also make a, what they call a 40 pin, but this engine is a 70 pin. These are the good ones. This is what you want to have. Uh, I think this 2WS was the ones right before the 6NZs. I'm not sure, but you can see that we have some problems there. So we are going to go ahead and fix this with a new ECM, and we'll talk to Jim a little bit while he's doing this. This Where it's at sucks. Uh, but, you know, now that we have the new fan hub, we hopefully we won't burn that up, and we're going to be better on, you know, coolant temperature. Here's the new one. You can see all the pins are intact and all that shit. So we're good there. This is going to be a trick. How to keep wood on there. Well, see, it's still got that damned, um, that shit behind noise it. Noise dampener, as they call it. Yeah. Well, they got the spacer that goes in there behind the ECM for the noise dampener. Oh, okay, and that's what fell and behind the starter. it fell starter. out down there where it broke off. If we ever, when we ever overhaul this thing, that shit will be gone. Yeah, we, we don't need no noise dampening, Jim. No, it's a <coughs> diesel engine. What? It's a diesel engine. Yeah, it's going to make noise. It's going to rattle, do all kinds of fucked up shit there, Jim. <laughs> now, if we can sneak this down in there without losing that piece of shit. Okay, uh, <laughs> fuck. I wish we had like a... Hopefully we don't lose it there. We'll try to get you guys in there, but, you know. Jim brought his factory tool earlier. Uh, his scan tool, uh, which we kind of needed a scan tool because it pointed us in the direction. But Jim told me over the phone last week that uh, we were probably going to have an ECM problem. And Jim was right. So, Jim, you are like my snap on scanner. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You just know. Uh, you just know what it is. Jim is Jim is my scanner. You don't need a scanner when you have Jim. I hope I didn't drop that button. I didn't hear anything hit the ground, Jim. Oh, there's one down there. There it went. Oh yeah, it is for this for this application it is. Yeah, you know, like a Peterbilt or you know, a long nose truck. It's probably really easy, right? Yeah. You know, we would already be cooking with gas. Perfect, Jim. You know, that's what you call cinder. Yeah, all right. Send it. It'll be good. You know, I mean, it's going to be a lot of Yeah, because I know everybody likes the big truck videos. <laughs> Man, that's down in a fucking hole. Yeah, that's in there, man. Fucking mother fuck. Now, Jim, what's the, what does the 70 pins do? Just control everything that goes on here? Yeah. The 70 pin has a couple extra power supplies and grounds. Oh, okay. And it's more geared towards multiplexing. Which is nice because your, your dash is multiplexed. Yes, sir. <laughs> Well, we got to try to hook up them wiring harnesses without uh, bending and breaking pins like somebody did before. Yeah. yeah. I never had that part of the harness off when I built this truck. Yeah, what size do you need? I think I've got it up here, buddy. Jim wasn't a big fan of cordless tools. When he comes over here, he grabs the cordless. Hopefully we don't bend it off again. Yeah, it seemed to went in there pretty good. Yeah, I, the one thing that I was hoping is, is that Sterling will return these parts that I don't need. He has a major zip tie action, don't we, Jim? Yeah. I'm gonna have to get out the good shit. Well, what we should do is make sure that this works, right? 
Yeah. All right. Well, Jim's got the ECM hooked back up. Now we'll come back here to the uh, to the fun part here. The old Panasonic Tough Book. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It did not move. It didn't go to 190 degrees and stick. <laughs> <coughs> so Jim's got the God damn this thing. Hey, it found it. It found it. Awesome. You know. A what? A lone ox kit. What's that? Something I can't undo. And it's not. That is awesome. That's awesome. As you can see, we got a 6NZ computer here. Uh, a lot of cat guys will know what that is. Ooh, this is a low horse. Yeah, that's Jesus. A 475 was only 1750. Yeah, how do we put the 50? We're going to fix all that. Yeah, we're going to fix all that. You have more power, right, Jim? We're, as Americans, we're big dickers. You know what I'm saying? We're not into this low power shit here. It should have been low from foul. We'll see. See if this one doesn't. Give you this. Yeah. Well, we've got to do some other bullshit here now. Alright. Well, we got to do some bullshit here, so this looks fun. Alrighty, uh, after a couple hours of trying to find the right file, we finally got it, the right file going to it, and Jim's just reprogramming the ECM right now. We're done. Uh, the water temperature gauge works. Everything works. So we're, you know, we're on the uphill side of this thing. Alrighty, guys. Uh, well, I got the truck pulled outside, and wow, she is wide open. Uh, now, uh, Jim flashed a new uh, 6NZ file in it. Uh, we had to do that because uh, the old one kind of just was not right. But the problem that the truck's been having for a while is... It's had a lot of blow by and it's had a bunch of fucking like, you know, like the the gauges and shit weren't accurate and it felt like it had no power. Well, the problem was is that, that if you see in the video, one of the pins was broke off uh, and one another one was laid over and it was derating the engine. So the engine had a lot of blow by because it was, you know, trying to decompress itself and derate itself for a long period of time it had you know it was just spraying fuel in there to try to you know it was trying to keep it cool it thought it was overheating it thought the fuel was fucked up it thought a lot of shit but now that we got it flashed around i drove it around the yard and wow it's a lot more snappy it's not as hesitant as it used to be but uh other than that uh Thanks for Jim. Uh, you know, we use the Jim's factory scan tool. Uh, this was a situation where we do, did needed a scan tool to reflash the ECM, and we needed it to figure out what was actually wrong with it. We had an idea that it could be the ECM, but that scan tool just verified all that stuff. We got the blower fixed. We got, we got everything in the truck working again that's supposed to be working. So uh, that's a positive uh, today. Uh, that we can take out of there. But anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like always, check out my Patreon account. I could, you know, if anybody would like to donate to the, the channel, we could use that because let me tell you, uh, you know, that was a pricey fix. Just that ECM was 750 bucks, So and that was a used one. But anyway, uh, you know, we're struggling. The struggle is real out here, always something. But hopefully we got that fixed. Uh, tomorrow I still got some more maintenance to do on the Western Star, uh, so I'll bring you along on that. But like always, uh, you know, visit the Patreon account, check out the Snap-on Junkie on Facebook and Instagram. And like always, guys, thanks for watching, and I gotta fucking go.